What up, guys? So a uh, little while back, my cousin was working on his second semester film, it was. Yeah. And uh, it's like a guy just hit a guy, and then that guy's ghost came, kind of like haunted him, tried to get him to like make him feel bad. I don't know, really. So, uh, but he was, came back as like a ghost, so uh, he was transparent the whole time. And he they were separated from the side, like who was on the left side and the right side for the most part, so he could just make a mask down the screen and then had a clean plate and then just lower the transparency. So he was uh, opaque the whole time. But for this one shot, there, there was a handshake and they crossed each other. He, You need after effects because you can't just create that much of a mask, so many points of a mask in uh, Final Cut. You can only do like eight, I think. There might be a plug in and let you do more, but I don't know. So he brought it to me, and I just thought I'd show you how to do it. It'll kind of be like an overview, but we'll see. This is what it was. Transparent hand, and it goes through it. And a little, added a little twitchy ghost effect in there. So that's what we'll I kind of go over. So we had a shot this, had a clean plate, and then the ghost hand came in, stayed there, and then the actor's hand came in. And if there wasn't a shadow, it would probably been a little easier, but so you wouldn't have to be so exact with your mask, so light your shots well, so no shadows come in. So that's all we had. So the first part right here will be our clean plate. So let's just duplicate the footage three times, Command D, D. So we'll make this top one the clean plate, and we'll just right click and then hit time, freeze frame. So the whole thing will be this. Move it to the bottom. Call it clean plane. Just hit enter on it. And then uh, this one will be our, uh, make it our right hand, I guess, because that comes in first. So right here. And then we'll just alt begin bracket. And I'll tri trim it down. And we'll call this left. No right hand. And then we'll just find out where his hand goes away. Let's make it right there. And then Alt, well, Alt begin bracket. Oh, uh, end bracket. Ugh. We'll move to the beginning. Now we'll do the same with the left hand. And it comes in right here. So I'll Again, and I think that works all the way to the end. Yep, perfect. And then we'll put, this, label this left hand, and we'll put the left hand on top. So now it's clean plate, and then you won't be able to see it. So uh, we'll lower the T on the, actually the top layer. Lower the opacity, and now first thing we gotta do is match up the handshake. So we want this to come a lot later. Clean plate, go stick size hand, not at the same time. Like right there. No. A lot more. Sticks it out, goes for the handshake, goes through them, and cuts. The shot will cut right here to the wide shot. So right here will be the end of our shot. So we can just hit N and then uh right click and hit trim to comp just this three seconds that way we don't gotta worry about anything else and all right so for the first part we can lower the transparency of the ghost i think like 65 percent worked or something around there that way so now he looks like he's transparent going through that's just the clean plate down there so now we got a problem right when the hand comes in because, well, it's transparent right now, but we want it solid. So we gotta go frame by frame and mask this whole thing. So hit the mask, select the layer, and just, I'm not going to do this, because that would be boring. It's just like a little overview. And then I'm just showing you in case you don't know how to make a mask. Click it, then hit M, and then check the mask path. Command arrow, right arrow, next frame, and just do the whole thing. It is a drag, yes. 
but you don't have to do this complete you don't have to do this for the bottom layer until the hand goes through it which I'll show you what I mean so uh, in the final layer here so you can see I uh, just hand did no masking on the hand left uh, the right hand but this is a mask right here and uh, you can see it if I turn it on What I got this high. There we go, wrong layer. So you can see it's very rough. And so you only have to do the hand up to actually you gotta do it the whole way. So you gotta mask the hand out for the whole shot. And but you don't have to mask the right guy's hand until they go through. So what I did here was on the right hand, right when they want it to go through, I hit Command Shift D and it breaks the layer into two like this. Uh, I gotta hide these. I'll just split the layer. These two are the same layer. I just split it and then moved it on top, on top. So that way, at that one frame, it just automatically just jumps behind it. And it looks like it's going through it. And then on the right hand also, you just add a displacement map effect and keyframed it from zero to the horizontal, zero to 85 and back to zero, like right as it happened. So it just made a little warpy effect. So yeah, that's that. Just kinda wanna do an overview. It's not really a tutorial, kinda explain some stuff but that's pretty much it you can get away with a lot with this with a rock mask even like I just half ass that mask a lot <laughs> so yeah right when it gets to the second part then you have to animate it just the hand because you just want to get the warpy effect on uh, just the hand not the background so you can get away with a lot just mess around with it whatever I won't make this dragon any longer than it already has, so I'll talk to you guys later. Alright, peace.